Hello everyone, welcome to another Digging for Gold video. Just a quick one today to show you how I made my little uh, 3D printed knuckle protector for the STC 2300 here. So here you can see the STL file. Uh, I made that using Tinkercad, like I usually do since it's very simple to use. But yeah, just a simple basic model there. You can see the start of the 3D print just laying down the first layer. Uh, the entire print took about four hours to complete and used up about, I think it was five and a half meters of the 1.75 mil filament. Um, so that equates to about 80 cents per print, um, considering how much filament costs. So, you know, um, saved a fair bit of money by printing this thing up and, you know, the ones you buy online are basically just 3D printed ones anyway, so pretty happy with how it turned out. Can't complain. Truth be told as well, this was my third attempt though. Uh, the first couple came out a bit small, or I just had to make a couple of sort of minor adjustments to get it to fit on there nicely. Uh, but yeah, this third attempt came out beautifully, and three attempts at 80 cents each, what's that? $2.40. So can't complain with that. Here it is straight off the uh, straight after it's finished printing. Just the raw print now. Pretty rough around the edges and stuff like that, but and you could use it just like it is now, but I'm gonna choose to do a little bit more processing on it just to make it look a little bit nicer. Not really necessary though. But yeah, next step was to give it a bit of a sand. Here you can see I've just sanded the outside of it, haven't sanded the inside yet. But yeah, you can see it makes it look pretty rough once you do that. But the next step after that is to paint it down with acetone. So I just get some acetone in a little tub, dip the paintbrush in it, and then just quickly brush it over there very lightly, and it comes out nice and shiny. Goes back to that dark black color. So yeah, there's the finished product. Time to fit it onto the detector. This was my first time attempting to fit it on, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna get on there nicely, like those first couple didn't, but yeah, this one seemed to work out pretty well. Clips on there nicely, stays on there pretty sturdily on its own. You can see it's a nice tight fit. Uh, does the job nicely. And you can see that that's me just feeling if it's flush, so it's completely flush with the skid plate on the bottom. Pretty happy with how it turned out, what do you reckon? Not bad for $2.40. Yeah, that'll pretty much do this video. Not much more to show, really. I just wanted to do a quick one to show you how I came up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed, or got some interest out of it. Stay tuned, I'll have another prospecting video in a couple of days. Anyways, till then, thanks as always. Bye.